The numbers we were talking about before this, this day was 100 million. Well, no, now we've got that broken into two. We've got 34 million up front, that's cash, going to Tom Waterhouse. Uh, Six million of debt that William Hill was going to take on. And what's interesting is after that, we have this 70 million that potentially still could go to TomWaterhouse.com if the company gets earnings growth of up to 30 million by the end of 2015. So it's a different type of deal, but again, it's happened and 100% gone to a UK sporting house. What's interesting is Tom Waterhouse has been in the news uh, for good or for bad because of his uh, presence during NRL sporting games. So we've got him sitting with a panel talking about sporting arts and that caused a lot of controversy. So that has changed now where he's been told to uh, stand aside from them and give his odds. And that whole thing that he was doing was part of a campaign where he put in millions of dollars to try and get some sort of ad presence. And he's got that as well with the media coverage. And so now it's gone from being just a sports story or just a business story into a celebrity story as well. And that's why it's getting so much coverage. And I guess all of us are interested in what's going to happen next as well. What this means is William Hill in March uh, bought over a sporting bet uh, for about 670 million Australian dollars. So if you go to sporting bet and you go to centre bet, which itself was bought over by sporting bet uh, a few years ago, or Tom Waterhouse, you are basically putting your money into William Hill's businesses. And then on the other side, you have Tapcore. So, you know, to break it down simply, that's the two different things they're looking at when you go and put your odds on a game.